Morning, morning, guys. So, Friday morning, somebody asked me, how important is documentation in the software development process? Let me just start by saying it is hugely important and it's a little bit too cold, so I think I'm gonna go inside to discuss the reasons why. All right, see you soon. Hey guys, so documentation is a very important part of the software development process. There's two levels to that I would identify anyhow. The first level is when you're first writing your code, the first stage in the app's documentation is simply in proper naming conventions, so that your method names, class names, variable names are self-describing. So if you have an object that does authentication, call it authenticator. That in itself, believe it or not, is a level of documentation. Self-describing code is something I teach in my courses. Another thing you can do is use comments. Comments are just little notes that you leave to yourself in your code. Now, you don't wanna go crazy with comments. The better the code, the less comments there is, but you leave comments in certain points if you need to describe the thinking or logic behind a particular chunk of code that you're writing. And uh, so this is a judgment call based on, you know, based on your experience you, you know, if you have a simple authentication object and there's nothing tricky about it, it's kind of a boilerplate, probably don't need a comment there. But if you have, you may have, I don't know, a data access component that has, uh, that's doing something a little bit tricky because of some consideration that's not obvious, that's where you might want to be putting in some comments. Comments, short, you know. Headline, couple paragraphs, that's about it. And again, it's a judgment call. Essentially, you wanna leave clues behind, more than clues, you wanna leave an obvious map within your code so that when the new developer comes in or you come back to your code base in three months and six months where you've forgotten things, you'll see right there why you did certain things. Trust me, as the code base gets more and more complex, these type of uh, Docu this type of inline documentation, if you will, inline inline into the code, if you will, is very, very important. Now, when you're first starting out your project, I wouldn't recommend putting together formal, formal documentation outside of comments and proper naming, simply because the app will change quite a bit and the way you structure your code could change quite a bit over time. When you get to the code base to something that's fairly stable, like a beta one or a beta two or something, where you see key structural decisions are pretty much in place, then you can start working on your main documentation. That's where I think it will come in very handy. And you should be doing it when it's fresh in your mind. You don't have to go back months later where you've forgotten everything and you just waste your time. When it's fresh in your mind, put the comments down where things may not be obvious. And then when you got your first beta out or beta two, then you start the formal document, your formal documentation, outlining things like why you chose this framework for an over another, um, what type of database structure did you choose and why, if you're doing SQL based databases, you know, why you created certain tables. Some will be obvious, some might not be obvious. Uh, the relationship between tables should be described and why. Again, only if it's not obvious. And same thing with the code base as well, in terms of there could be some major considerations in terms of how you structure things. Again, indicate that. And there may be pinpoint areas where certain functions, certain methods have been designed in a particular way where you could have done it five different ways, but you chose method three versus, you know, one, two, three, four. So it's, um, or versus one, two, four, five. So yeah, you want to zero in on things that are not obvious. Because if you just start documenting everything that's so obvious, it's gonna get pretty boring. So, and uh, then, then the important things are gonna get lost in the mix. And uh, that's it. So yes, documentation is very important. The strategy is you start lightweight documentation, inline documentation, which is the, uh, proper naming conventions, and of course, comments. And then once you have a fairly stable code base, then you start working on the formal documentation and make sure this documentation is easily findable, uh, this formal document, probably in the root of your app, uh, so that 
if you come back six months later, you can look over everything, or you come back a year later, you can look over everything, and you, you'll get up to speed right away. The worst thing, the worst thing for coders is to have to go into a code base where there's no documentation. You have no idea what the, the developers were thinking at the time, and it's very hard to patch, expand, bug repair, um, extend a code base where you don't know the reasoning behind the basic architectural decisions. All right, I hope that helps. Bye-bye.